One step forward and another back I will never try to fool ya I'm one heartbeat away from going mad Girl, when you look like that Closer, closer I'ma get closer to you, yeah Got me, baby Got me hooked on you once again Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier, or welcome if you're new. If you are new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and join our, our family. <laughs> um, if you guys don't know, we recently moved to Florida from Nebraska. We, we have been here for a little while. We're still unpacking, getting things done, and we still have a lot to do. So today I'm going to start in the bedroom. Um, we need to paint first and foremost. Furniture is all in here, so I'm gonna try to kind of move it around to try to work around it. I also have a lot of boxes sitting over there that I need to get put away. Um, and plenty of decor. So we're gonna start in the bedroom and work our way out into the living room um, here in the next few weeks. You guys will see all of that as it comes along. So anyway guys, let's go ahead and jump right into this video and get started with today's motivation. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and start by just decluttering everything. I'm going to try to unpack some of this stuff and just get everything put away in its proper place. Um, <laughs> I also apologize for the lighting here. For some reason, there's no light in the bedroom. Um, the light switch actually turns on well, what's supposed to be like rope light around the top of the bedroom, which you can't really see here, but there's like crown molding um, where lights are supposed to go and they rewired the light switch to turn on up there. So there's no light in the bedroom. Um, you'll see later on though, we do get one put in so it does light it up. So I apologize that the lighting is off. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get some of these boxes unpacked. One thing we did lose out on by moving to Florida and purchasing the home that we are currently in is storage space. Uh, we don't have basements down here, and if you do, it's very, very rare for you to have one um, just because you're so close to sea level. So we lost out on basement storage space. We also lost out on our huge, fabulous shed from back up north um, and we're definitely missing those spaces right now uh, as you notice we're storing toilet paper in in our closet uh, we had to find a spot for the litter box to go and yeah trying to find spaces for everything has been proven quite challenging <laughs> if you will but we're making it work we're figuring things out and we still don't regret moving so We've officially been down here for two weeks now and loving it, just living life, um, finding things, you know, and yeah, we got our driver's license and our plates all done, so we are officially Floridians, if you will, and yes, things things have been quite interesting, to say the least. So I'm not sure if you saw our packing video when I was packing up all the clothes. Uh, it's been a few videos back now, I think. But anyway, I just 
put them basically inside of trash bags and then tied around the hangers. We didn't take anything off the hangers and it definitely made things so much easier when it came to hanging all the clothes back up. We literally just hung them up, cut the bags off as you saw, and away life went. It, it definitely was a great hack um, that I found on Pinterest. So if you're moving <laughs> or need to move a lot of clothes, do the trash bag trick. You will not be disappointed. As I'm unloading this box of linens and stuff to put into the drawers, there is the infamous red package, you guys. I am so excited for you guys to see what is in that red package. Um, it is something that I have wanted my entire life, and I finally got last year, I think it was, yes, last 4th of July, we were down in Texas, and I finally bought one. And I've been so excited. I bought it with the intentions of putting it in a new home. And here we are. So <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to see the living room update when I unveil that red package. Things got so complicated. All I wanted was your love. <laughs> and per the norm, you can see Miko uh, running around here being nosy. The cats did great on the travel down here uh, for the most part. We had, you know, Lottie, Lottie did really good. She just lay down in her carrier and slept most of the way. Uh, Miko, though, you know, his nosy boy self is not a lay around and drive forever cat. <laughs> He actually meowed for quite some time. Um, eventually he did settle down and settle into his carrier and he figured out like, hey, this is only temporary. Um, but yeah, they both did great for the most part. Again, uh, in the hotel, the first hotel that we stayed at was quite interesting. Um, Lottie got stuck under the bed. <laughs> And Miko woke me up at like 4 o'clock in the morning to find her. So, of course, I had to wake Fred up to move the bed. Uh, that was quite interesting. But otherwise, they did so, so well. We're going to go ahead and get started here on the painting. Um, I did just kind of show you guys trimming out the whole process because it was a very very lengthy process um, and I was tired and I was over it <laughs> I have a whole house to paint and yeah we started in the bedroom so anyway uh, we are the color I am using is alabaster by Sherwin Williams however uh, we color matched it um, for Valspar I almost lost the name of it so anyway we had it mixed in Valspar signature and usually I use a semi gloss um, however this time since the cost of paint has like doubled uh, we picked out <clears throat> we picked out uh, satin so alabaster Valspar satin I absolutely love the color it just gave the room a fresh overall vibe um, it actually looks pretty close to the white trim, but I promise you it is different. It's more of a creamy white as opposed to like a stark sterile white.
You know, when we moved to Florida, a lot of people were concerned about how we would be able to handle the heat and the humidity of the summer. And quite honestly, it's pretty similar to back home in Nebraska. Um, Nebraska gets over 100 degree days. We don't typically get that or see that here in Florida. Uh, the humidity is high, but being near the ocean, it kind of cuts that humidity. Where if you were more inland, you're going to feel that heat and humidity a lot more. So it really hasn't been that bad here. Um, other than the sun feels definitely a lot closer. However, we did go ahead and get the windows tinted and everything on the cars to kind of help with that because the last time we were here closer to summer, it was like April, uh, and my arms got burnt from just riding around in the car. So I wanted to get the windows tinted and stuff to help prevent sunburn. Um, but yeah, the weather, the weather has been actually beautiful, enjoyable for the most part. Um, we have had a lot of rain, quite a ton more rain than Nebraska typically gets. Uh, you know, I think it rained like two or three inches in one at one time, where Nebraska were lucky to get maybe an inch of rain at one setting. So that's been kind of something different to get used to. The storms down here are kind of wicked when it comes to lightning and the heaviness of the rain. I'm sure some of you will notice that I didn't tape anything off. I typically don't. If you've seen me paint before, I hate painter's tape. It, it is always a problem for me and I highly, highly dislike it, so I don't use it. I just uh, get a brand new brush every time I go to paint, so that way it has a nice sharp edge on it and I am typically very careful. This is sped up so it doesn't look like I'm being that careful, but I promise I am. So, just using a very nice, brand new, sharp brush will help cut edges very nicely up against any trim work, uh, corners, and floor, floorboards, stuff like that. So, that's my painter's tape for the day. Painter's tape? Painter's tip. Oh my goodness, you guys. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here together? I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. 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 You guys will have to let me know if you like to watch painting videos or not, or if you like to watch this in a video. Um, if you haven't already skipped over this part, but sometimes I like watching the painting. It can be real satisfying. Um, sometimes I'm like, okay, just get it done and over with, you know, and I'll fast forward through that part of the video. But again, you guys will have to let me know whether you like that or not, because we do have a few other rooms to get painted. Um, <clears throat> well, not to get painted, but... Uh, whether you want me to use that footage or not from filming so you guys have to let me know down in the comments if you're interested in seeing the full paint or just some quick tidbits here and there just loving this moment can we stay here forever still have a lot to get done. I did get everything painted. Let's show you here. Everything is painted. Um, I did get the furniture put back against the walls. 
I need to find a desk and then I also need to get all this stuff taken off like all the plastic and all that and put everything down but I need to put this rug down and I don't know that I can do that without my husband and right now he is driving our uh, Volkswagen bug back from Nebraska down here to Florida so he's not currently here to help me so I don't know exactly how we're gonna go about doing this because before he left we put the bed up because he wanted to sleep in the bed even though that wasn't out and I wanted to put that out first but I needed to clean the floors so I think today while we're waiting for him to get back home I think I'm going to get everything else cleaned up and done um, like like uh, deep cleaning the floors we mean you know all the things I did get a new um, shark steam mop like the rotating steam mop I'll show you guys that um, I need to get the clothes put away that I just washed and I think just get everything else put away so that way at least once he's home we can put the rug out and then we can finish this video up for you guys. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into get into this to-do list. <laughs> Another thing that we've had to get used to here in Florida is not having a laundry room. Um, yeah, I fought that <laughs> this whole like years of wanting to move to Florida. I'm like, oh, I don't want to move to a house that does not have a laundry room. You know, some of the newer houses have them and some of them don't. And we did not end up purchasing a new home, obviously. Uh, this house was built in the 80s. And so laundry is outside, not outside, it's in the garage. It could be worse, it could be outside. There's a house um, around the corner here where laundry is like out in a shed. So, could be worse, at least it's attached to the house. Uh, I need to get used to it though. So anyway, we're just gonna get some of these clothes folded that I just washed and then we'll get back into basically finish unpacking. Noticing my Bucky shirt, you guys, Daytona Beach put in a Bucky's not too long ago. There's also one up in St. Augustine. And I don't know if you guys have been to Bucky's. Like they're they're all over in Texas. Um, they're starting to spread out throughout other states. Georgia, I think, has one. Uh, does Alabama have one? I'm not sure. But you know, Florida has a couple now, and we are obsessed. Like, not only do they have the cleanest bathrooms of any gas station ever, the the fountain pop is cheap. Um, the shirts are super cute. They have different themed shirts. Um, as you saw, I had the 4th of July one on. Now they have an anniversary one. And yeah, they're just super cute. So anyway, um, as you see here, I did get a new steam mop. This is the Shark uh, Spin Mop, I think it is. Anyway, I absolutely love it. It was super easy to put together. And I've been doing the whole house of that thing. And... You guys, this house was disgusting when we moved in. Like, disgusting. Um, we'll discuss a lot of that at a later time. But right now, the floors, I just wanted to get them clean. And using that steam mop made all of the difference. Like, all the difference. It, you could just feel... You know, we, we used to walk around here barefoot and our feet would just get black from how dirty the floors were. And I used that steam mop and, oh my goodness, I don't know why I didn't have one at the old house. It, it's amazing. Into the ocean, wanna feel like we're the only ones around, but I'm lost, you got me clueless. Also, uh, as you can see, hubby made it home perfectly fine. He had, well, it took us 
three days to drive here initially um, with my van and his truck and trailer. Um, and then he flew home our first Wednesday here. And to get our, we have a Volkswagen Beetle, like a 2003, kind of newer, kind of older, you know what I mean. So anyway, um, he had to fly home and he drove that down. It took about two days for him to get down here. So we, we, we definitely missed him. Um, that, that night of him getting back, I mean, he hit some really rough issues along the way, rough storms and stuff like that coming down through the south in Tennessee and in Georgia and so it made for a very very long last day of driving um, he got home it was like after midnight but we were so excited to see him and to have him back with us in my heart and in my mind feeling drunk but I'm sober It's funny, I keep going through boxes and finding like random shirts here and there. I'm like, what happened? How did these clothes get in with these other items? I don't know. However, you know, I keep finding these random clothes, but I lost an entire box of decor. I was so upset. I, you know, I wanted to finish this video out uh, with all my decor in place. However, I just couldn't find it when I was filming this. I have since found it. Uh, so I'm very thankful for that and actually I didn't find it my hubby did so thank you to him for finding that box because I was uh, I was like worried I don't know why but I was it had all our seashells in it from our very first trip for, to Florida and you know some some of those things are kind of sentimental so anyway um, we're gonna go back to using the steam up. Like I said, it's super easy. I'm just using, you'll see me leaving the room. I'm going to the fridge and getting the filtered water from the fridge. I think you're supposed to use distilled water. I didn't have any, so I thought filtered was better than just straight tap. But anyway, super easy to use, turn on, and away we went. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death Look like big fun, come on, let's get it on Like that orphan gay song I'm something, you love it Come on, give me something I know that you want it Come on, give me something The night is young and so are we So the whole house came with blinds But there are no curtains um, and I don't know what it is. I just I really like having curtains. I'd like to put some in the living room However, the way the couch is set up. I'm not gonna be able to I don't think uh, I haven't fully decided again You guys will see that in a later video, but I wanted it to add some curtains I feel like curtains just make the room. It, it, I, don't, I don't know what it is I just feel like they make the room extra cozy and comforting um, also, if you can see there, one of the pieces of blind um, is broken, and quite honestly, I just didn't have it in the budget to replace all the blinds, so uh, we're going to make it work. The curtain kind of helps cover it, so yeah, we'll, we'll actually, uh, the curtain rod that we are using, I found at Target. I'll try to remember to link it if you guys are interested. I love it. It was super easy to install. You'll see my hubby do that though. Um, I'm just kind of choosing a spot on the wall for it to go.
The curtains that I picked out for the bedroom here in Florida are the exact same curtains that we had back home in Nebraska. Um, I It took me forever to find curtains that I liked uh, that would match the bedding and when I found them I was thrilled so uh, we couldn't bring them with us it was in you know in the um, what is that called the deal basically the sell of the home that the curtains and all that go with the house so we did leave them behind unfortunately but that's okay because uh, as you'll see here in a second these curtains are too short and they are the same size as the ones back home in Nebraska so either way they wouldn't have worked um, you know what's weird though is I measured this and I could have sworn that I got the right size obviously I didn't uh, I ended up remeasuring and sending these back. I don't think I said, but they are from Amazon. They are listed in my storefront if you're interested in those. But I did end up sending those ones back and getting 96 inch ones, which that was the next size up. I needed a size in between, but you know, it'll work. They're kind of long, but I'd rather them be long than too short. Oh, oh, and you don't have to be afraid. Hold you till the sun comes crashing down I'm yours until the end of time As I said earlier, um, before the hubby left, we put the bed together because it was just easier to get out of. It was proving kind of difficult to roll off of a mattress laying on the floor and he just wanted the bed set up so it was easier to get out of the bed. Um, thankfully, the bed is very easy to put together and take apart because we had to take it back apart to put the rug underneath. We picked up a rug before we left Omaha. Um, actually what it is is a carpet remnant. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard of Nebraska Furniture Mart but they sell carpet remnants back in the Mrs. B's department for all you Omaha or just Nebraska in general people. Tip, they can take those carpet remnants and edge them out and make them a, uh, an area rug. And it is cheap. So much cheaper than going and buying an area rug. This rug I think is like 10 by 12 and it cost us $180. And it is high quality, beautiful carpet, um, super soft. You guys, to pay for a rug that size would have cost me like in that, in that like material that um, quality of carpet would have cost me a thousand dollars. I promise you. So if you're in Nebraska, uh, go over to Mrs. B's in Omaha and get you a carpet remnant and have them, um, I can't think, bind it. I think it's called binding. So definitely check that out. Save a ton of money. If you have a local carpet store in your area, check and see if they'll do it. Because you guys, it saved a lot of money. 10% of what an actual rug that size would have cost. Check it out. I promise you will not be disappointed. The bedroom is about the same size as our old bedroom. I think it's a smith bigger. I can't really remember, but anyway. Uh, but there's only wall, one wall in this bedroom that our bedroom or our bed and nightstands would fit on based off of where the bathroom and the entry door is. So we were quite concerned because we didn't measure uh, on whether our bed would fit. And I will tell you, it's a literal like inch it fits by by an inch or so the door can still shut it worked things are a little squished but you know what it works and I love the way it turned out Coming, 
we went to Ashley Furniture the other day and I was shocked to still see this bedroom set <laughs> still available. You guys, this this bedroom set is absolutely beautiful. It has held up so well and I just love it. Um, so if you're interested or in the market for a new bedroom set, definitely check out your, your local Ashley Furniture so you can go get you one. However, I will warn you, uh, the price is like doubled since, since we purchased ours. I mean, what, what hasn't gone up in price recently? Am I right? <laughs> um, but anyway, absolutely beautiful, stunning, amazing workmanship, sturdy. The quality is just, it's there guys. So definitely go check them out. You will not be disappointed, I promise. I know I say that a lot, but it is the truth. I wouldn't steer you guys in the wrong direction. I don't know if you guys noticed, but we officially have a light in the bedroom. Uh, we had to go buy a new ceiling fan. The blade fell off of the old one. It was a whole ordeal, but we wanted a light anyway. So we have a light. The downfall is the switch does not turn that light on. You have to walk up to it and pull a cord. But you know what? It is what it is. I love it. It turned out really good, so I am so happy with it and so thankful that I have a hubby that can do all these things and we don't have to hire an electrician to do them because your girl wouldn't know how to do that at all. I've been feeling something for you lately And I am trying so hard I was really struggling on how to place the pillows <sighs> Having our regular sleep pillows Because I don't like sleeping on the fancier pillows I don't know why I'm afraid I'm going to ruin them Whatever So I don't like sleeping with the fancy pillows You know they're basically just there for looks so I was really struggling with how to put our sleep pillows and the fancy pillows and all that on the bed. Um, here you'll see I did get them on there, but then Amazon rang and our I picked up some Euro shams and the new curtains arrived. So I wanted to go ahead and get the new curtains on and then we will go back to making the bed. I don't know if you recognize these lamps <laughs> uh, when I forget how long ago it was but anyway Lowe's had some lamps on clearance with some shades these lamps I think were like regularly $100 if I remember correctly and then the shades were like 50 bucks uh, regularly priced however I got them on clearance the lamps were like $20 on clearance and the shades were five or ten dollars on clearance I can't remember exactly now but anyway um, I bought two of them with the intentions of again moving even though we hadn't even gotten to this point yet <laughs> um, but I did buy two of them because I wanted to make sure that I had a matching set of lamps knowing that these were on clearance I knew that I would no longer be able to get them once they were gone so we did only use one in the old living room back in Nebraska um, and then now that we are here in Florida we in the couch we got in the setup we were not going to use two lamps anymore in the living room 
So I decided to forego the silver lamps that we used to have in here and they are now in the girls room and I moved these beautiful bubbly glass looking lamps into our bedroom and I really think that it just kind of pulls the farmhouse beachy just light linen vibes <laughs> all together. We are back to making the bed. As you see, I am like struggling with how to place all these pillows. Um, I did search on Pinterest on how to make a bed, you guys, because I needed help. Um, I just knew that I really wanted Euro pillows. I've wanted them for so long. So um, we were up in Ikea, up in Jacksonville, not too long ago. So we went ahead and purchased three of their Euro pillows. And you guys, I could not get them to fluff up. Like, I was beating them and fluffing them and trying so hard to make them full. And it, it was just not working. It, yeah. So, they're not very full. But for now, they will work. They still give comfy, cozy vibes. And they totally finish off the bed. At least I think they do. I don't know. <laughs> I could not figure out where I wanted to put this picture. I absolutely love this picture. It is a picture that actually I took with my cell phone. Um, one year when we were down here in Florida vacationing, we took family photos and this is one of them and I absolutely love how it turned out. Uh, side note, <laughs> if you ever get a chance to see the picture closely, you can see that my husband did not remove the price tag from his shirt and it definitely made it into the photo but it's not something that you notice just walking by and just kind of glancing at the photo so it's okay it turned out i absolutely love it uh so i definitely wanted to hang it in the bedroom i just was struggling on where um another thing in this house we're trying not to put a bunch of holes in the walls um yeah, our old house, when I started taking things off the walls, I was like, oh my gosh. There are literally nail holes everywhere. And I I just didn't want to do that here. <laughs> so we picked up some command strips and hung everything up. But anyway, guys, that is it. This is how the bedroom turned out. I hope you got some sort of motivation. I hope you guys love it as much as we do. Um, definitely make sure you are subscribed so you can come back and see how the rest of the house turns out. Driving somewhere in your car, we can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars. Baby, while we're